Hey guys, thank you for tuning back into my channel. My name is Zell Dog, and this is my kitchen. Today on the chopping block, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make your very own Chicago style Italian beef. And these are the ingredients that you're gonna be needing. First, we got some oil. This is olive oil, salt, pink sea salt, beef bouillon, basil, some thyme. Over here, we have some black pepper, some celery salt, some granulated garlic, some um, Italian seasoning, crushed pepper flakes, coriander. This right here is some um, caramelized onion. You need some water. You're gonna need about three or four cloves of garlic. I got like three or four celery, two bell peppers, and a whole onion. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start working on this. We're gonna come and oil this up. This is a beef sirloin, a whole beef sirloin. You're just gonna oil, oil this up real good. We're gonna flip this over. Put some more oil on here. And you do want to preheat your oven to 400 because we're going to cook this for about two hours at 400 degrees. All right, let me go wash my hands off while I can put this season on here. Okay, hands are clean again. <laughs> so first thing we want to start off with some salt. Nice little general amount of salt. Okay, that should be enough of that. Then we're gonna come in here with some granulated garlic. Roughly about a tablespoon. We're gonna come with some celery salt. Maybe like a teaspoon of this. Granulated caramelized onion, rather. Like a teaspoon or a tablespoon of that. Beef bouillon. So probably like two tablespoons of this. Okay. I want to come with some black pepper. Like a teaspoon. So this is um some Italian seasoning. Tablespoon of that. This is some thyme. Another tablespoon. Here's the coriander. Maybe like a teaspoon of that. And some basil. Alright, now we're gonna come with these uh, red um, flakes. Alright, now we're gonna turn this over. And we gotta do this side. So let me go wash my hands again. All right. I'm gonna put a little bit more oil on here, the seasoning. So we're just gonna repeat the process, guys. All right. So now, just hold three cups. It's part of my mixer. Just gonna just pour that in here. Cause it's gonna make our own, our juices, we'll make its own, our juice by itself. With the fat and all that stuff. So that's three cups. Five cups. Let's see, you got that two right there. And I'm gonna start chopping on these vegetables and put that in there. Okay, ain't no particular way how to put that vegetable in there. It can be in chunks or whatever. So I, um, let me go ahead and do that, and I'll show you guys how everything looks, and I'll be back. Okay, fam, I'm back. This is how it looks. I just simply just chopped up everything and put them in there. I didn't even chop up the um, garlic, I just smacked it and throw them up in there, all right? But that's how it looks. Like so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven, let this cook for two hours on 400 degrees. And I'll see you guys when this stuff get done. I'll show you the next step in a minute. Okay fam, I'm done with this. Right now, what I'm gonna do is wrap this up. I'm gonna let it cool down completely. Should take about a couple hours to cool down. Then I'm gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for overnight and then we can go ahead and start slicing okay so that's what i'm going to do um and i'll see you guys after that see you guys in a minute okay fam i'm back today is the second day now um i wrapped up my stuff where i put them in the ziploc bags it's my beef and i just put them in a ziploc bag 
like that. We're going to take these to the slicer and slice these up thin. Here's my eye juice right here. Put that in the pot and let that come to a simmer. All right, see you guys at the slicer in a minute. Okay, fam, we're going to go ahead and get started. See how thin this one is going to be. Go a little thinner than that. You guys can see that. Show you that up close. Okay. I'm going ahead and finish doing these and show you how everything looks. See you in a minute. Okay, found that's the one half of it right here. There's quite a bit of it. <laughs> so, uh, Yep, I might do the other half, and I'll show you how I put this stuff together. See you guys in a minute. Okay, fam, I'm back. This is all the meat that I've made up. See all that? It's enough to feed at least 20 to 30 people. Not going to even lie to you. But I'm making about 15 of them today, okay? All right, fam, I am back. Let's go ahead and get this cracking. I got to do 15 of these bad boys. I'm just going to put some of these in here. Normally I leave it on the stove, but for the sake of this video, I'm just showing you guys how I do this. So this, that probably make about three or four of them right there. I'm just let that sit in this um, juice. Then I'm gonna take some cheese. Like I said, I'm only doing one for you guys. But I'll show you um, all of them that I did at the end. And this is uh, Italian beef with cheese. Just like so. See that cheese on there? That's it. And you take some of this meat. Sit that bad boy on there. You're going to get some juice all over. But that's fine. Just like that. Take you some of these jardinera. You can put a lot on there if you want to, but I ain't gonna put a lot on there. Some people like them dipped, like so. Just take this right here and you dip it in there one end, the other end, bring it over here. Wrap this boy up. Put these in, put those. Like that, take this paper, this on foil. Wrap it up tight, like that. Pinch the ends, just like so. So Italian beef, ready to go. All right, now that I do 14 more, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay fam, I'm finally done making all 15 Italian beefs. And this is how that looks up close. This is one, I'm coming around here. All right. Right there. All right, guys. If you like this video, please give me a like, a share, and please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that bell for me. Hit that bell so you too can be notified next time I upload another delicious recipe. And I'll see you guys next time. And thank you for watching. In Veldal's Kitchen, much love.